Ro uh, joined by Robert Scott Good from on, the mate. radio. And we are cooking a breakfast dish today, aren't we? It's a hash mark, so it's potato and kumara and a bacon hash. Uh, a gluten-free mess, in other words, with a bit of chilli there as well. <laughs> That's great. I like, I like that description. <laughs> That's brilliant. And it's all for celiac week, isn't it? It is. So everything we prepare with will be gluten-free. So anyone who is gluten intolerant or is a celiac can enjoy this. Fantastic. That's great. Right, a little bit later on in the show, we'll get cooking and show you how to do it. Mark, we've got Robert Scott with us. Good to see you, Good Robert. Good to see you, how too. Are you, mate? Good to see you. I'm very well. OK, well, we need to get cracking on this recipe so what have you got for us right so we've got some potatoes yes and kumara do they so pre-cut them for you at home like that robert they did yeah i get my my kids to do that oh nice <laughs> we have a parenting panel you might have to come on that with us too. okay so we've got potato we've got kumara yep yeah so pop it in there boiling salted water and we're going to cook for about 10 minutes aren't we just to soften, soften them. them up a bit and yeah we're then... not going to cook them all the way through because we are going to put them in the pan and right. continue cooking a bit yeah. later okay and nice mess it all up mess it all yes. up so this is a great breakfast it's a great lunch and a great dinner really yep. isn't it so i just wanted to know robert yeah how do you know that you have celiac? Um, well, you're kind of born with it, right. but for me, the symptoms didn't kick in until I was 40-odd. What were those symptoms? I couldn't put weight on, um, upset tummy, feeling lethargic, uh, depression, all these symptoms. In fact, if you Google it, yeah. it's quite scary to see how many symptoms are associated with being celiac. Jeez, it must have been nice when you finally realised what was going on and yeah, you alter your diet. It is a blessing, because I, I had a blood test, yeah. very little iron in my blood, went for an endoscopy, so cameras, both ends, Yes. Uh, and then they can work out pretty much straight away nice. that you are celiac, and of course then everything changes. Right. Your world is turned upside down with your diet. You have right. to read those labels and you mm -hmm. have to work out what's got wheat and barley and, and rye and make that big change. Okay, but it's doable and the world is adjusting, especially when you go out and you're on planes, you know? <laughs> yeah, it's interesting. Five years ago when I was diagnosed, uh, those in restaurants rolled their eyes a bit. Right. You say, I'm celiac, I've got to be gluten-free. They went, ah, oh, yeah, another one. But I am celiac, I have no choice, it's not my fault, yes, I'm born yes, with it. True, true. But now everyone accepts it and you see gluten-free options in, in restaurants and when you go to the supermarket, you've got gluten-free aisles and everything's labelled, so much easier than what it used to be. Nice work, and you can make delicious-looking meals. How are we going there, Mark? Mark's doing very well. <laughs> yeah, no, it's good. It's all right, I'll just do all the work. You yeah, do no. that's fine. Um, right, so we've got, uh, we've got some onions and some bacon, and we're just going to start cooking those down now in the fry pan. Yep. Nice. Whilst the potatoes are cooking. So it's a really, really sort of quick recipe, and if you put the potatoes on first, then you can start your onions there. We've got some water at the end, and we're going to do some poached eggs, aren't we? Yep. And you, you, Mark, would have noticed this, I guess, at O'Connell Street Bistro, which is a great restaurant to go to, by the way. Uh, you obviously have to cater for people's different dietary needs. Have you seen an increase of people being more aware of what oh, their body definitely. can handle? Yeah. Definitely, definitely. Like, we were talking about it before, like, you know, five years ago, it was... Um, you know, we, we'd have sort of maybe maybe one every sort of two, three months, you know, and it was very new and it was sort of, it was, um, yeah, it was sort of different for the chefs. It yes. was like a, almost an inconvenience at the time. Uh, yeah. A roll your eyes moment, um, isn't it? Here we go. Yeah, yeah I, mean, I mean, that's what it was. You know, we still did it though, and put a smile on our face. And, but, but then over the years, you know, it is it is a big thing and we have become educated and, and you know, there are people out there and there's a lot of people out there mm. now and I think a lot more people, because they've got the support of the chefs and the restaurants, you know, do actually go out and, and eat and have all these dietary requirements. And, right. the, you know, and the chefs and the restaurants now do um, sort of cater for that, which is great. Nice. So, and that's what we're catering for today. So we've sliced our onions, we've diced our bacon. Onions are going in. Going to sweat them down. Yeah, onions and bacon. Yep. Mm -hmm. Sweat them down. Oh, that's posh. I know. I know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He's looking out. Learning. Learning. Oh, I know. I am indeed. <laughs> and put a bit of the bacon in there. How often would you make this at home? This looks delicious. Myself, I, I gave it a test run on Sunday night, and oh. it went down quite well. Ooh. Although we, we we put a few chilies <laughs> on the top, and my chilli pieces were rather big. <laughs> And so there were complaints during the meal and about 12 hours later. <laughs> <laughs> OK, nice. Well, we learned some lessons. I'll tell you what, we'll come back in just a minute, see how to do the rest of this recipe. You can get it at thecafe.co.nz, by the way. Right now, though, let's catch up with Holly. I actually knew Mar um, Mark, I knew Robert when he was um, suffering with his old celiacs and um, he's a much nicer person now. <laughs> All right, maybe. We are in the cafe kitchen with Robert Scott from The Breeze and we are making a big hash, which is... <laughs> <laughs> Which is That's not very complimentary. <laughs> a big hash. Uh, it's smelling delicious, by the way. Uh, so yeah. how are your potatoes going? Well, they're softening up, so we're going to yep. throw them in the pan soon and, and uh, cook them uh, to a point where
where there's a bit of crispness around the outside. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, that's the secret, isn't it? Yep. And we've got a little bit of thyme, thyme. here now, so sprinkle a bit of that in over the bacon and onions. Okay, Goes nice. In there. Lovely. You can't go wrong with this one, really. Nice. It smells and it's great. And it's, and it's sort of like, well, it's nearly a one pot wonder, isn't it? Yeah, because that's quite easy so. to wash. Yep. <laughs> We like one pot wonders. Okay, cool. Well, you can keep stirring that. Thank you. you right, I've got a job to yeah, do. Yeah, you've got a job to Go do. Go for it. Hey, we'll how's life on now. the breeze? Anyway, it's good. good. Yes, yeah, no, I love the breeze. Nice. Great radio station. Been there ten years. Nice. Now, so. Okay. Um, now, before you knew you were celiac. Yep. Uh, obviously, you were eating foods that contain gluten. Yeah. How did that? You know, how did that affect you? Well, what happens? The gluten paralyzes what they call villi, which are the little fingers inside your gut, which mm -hmm. absorb the nutrients of the food. Right. So therefore, I was eating for 40 odd years without having any nutrients go through my body. Wow. So th I bottomed out at 59 kgs. Good grief. I was so skinny. Oh, wow. I looked unwell. Okay, well, I wasn't going to ask back in those days. Yeah. Uh, What's wrong with that guy? Uh, what is wrong with He's him? He's so skinny. But now we know. <laughs> oh, cool. So there you go. Really important to look after yourself and get the right foods. And look, this is going to be delicious, easy, and we've got some good foods going on here. Mark, what are you doing now? Well, I'm just going to chop some cherry tomatoes. Yeah. And then, so we're going to cook the potatoes for about, what, another sort of 10, 15 I minutes? I reckon so. Let them crush down, get some colour on there, crunchy bits, keep folding it around. And then about five minutes before we want to serve, tomatoes go in just to soften, and then we'll finish it with some baby spinach and a little bit of cheese. And a uh, couple of eggs for poaching. Nice. Can I poach some eggs, Mike? I wish. Um, <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no I'll okay. mark that up. Jeez, I wish your wife could see you doing this right now. <laughs> she probably is watching and laughing. <laughs> I know. You know? <laughs> Look at this, Robert. This is, this uh, don't do that. <laughs> oh, okay. Look, I'm just trying to look busy for the TV, okay? Okay, <laughs> <laughs> okay sweet. Um, so, are we going to poach the eggs now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Later? yeah you poach oh, one. you want me to poach them? Yeah, you, you poach one. I'll save one for. Emergencies. Have you put thing? vinegar in here? I need a little spoon to give this the whirl. The whisk, yes. Yes, is that how you do your yeah, I've done seen that on YouTube. Oh, nice, there you go. So, did you put any vinegar in here? Yep, there's vinegar in. Oh, a little bit of white vinegar, see? Oh, no, no this is going to be a disaster. <laughs> no, it's not. Okay, this is where I muck it up all the time. Go, Mike. Okay. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. No, I think it's working shell. all right. No shell. Perfect. No shell. Oh, she's stretching it a little bit, but it's got a little tail. Oh, okay. A little tail. <laughs> <laughs> there are so many things I could describe that as. <laughs> I think I'll well, leave it. No. <laughs> no? <laughs> it's a gluten-free egg. A gluten-free egg. Yeah. Thank you very much. Okay. Well, let's, um, what, what are we doing with those tomatoes? Yeah, well, let's put the tomatoes in now. Yep. They sort of pop. pop out towards the end eh, of the cooking process. Yeah, that's it. And then that heat's just going to sort of soften them, isn't it? Okay, hey, um, how, do you, how do you get tested, you know? Blood tests, yes. endoscopy, yeah. and then your diet changes from that moment. Right, so and you just ask your doctor. Yeah, 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 absolutely. It's just so common. So do you not miss gluten? Uh, I, I miss some foods. I, I miss going to some takeaway outlets. But really, a gluten-free diet is very natural, very unprocessed. So oh. I feel better as a result. No beer. Nice. No, no, I, was, I was never a, a, no a beer drinker anyway. Red oh. wine. <laughs> Big fan of red wine. Yeah, no, that's yeah. good. Yeah. I can still drink that. OK, I'll tell you what, we'll come back and see the finished product very soon. I'm quite impressed with my egg. And if you want more really? details <laughs> about celiac, you can visit celiac.org.nz. Thank you very much, Robert. You've done a sterling job. Pleasure. Oh, it's Fantastic. Qu quite the creation. It's the Mona Lisa of hash. Oh, look. <laughs> <laughs> that looks really Woo! good. Yeah. Yum. The, okay. the hash, the egg. Yep. A little chilli on the top there. Right. Chilli and some sour cream. <laughs> Not as Fantastic. much chilli as you had on Sunday, is it? No, no. <laughs> finally chopped. No. Right, let's okay. try it. Bring it over, boys. I want to get stuck into this.